Welcome back to Squawk Box. Rick Santella here live at CMEHQ with this morning's breaking news. Initial jobless claims for the week ending March 25th. Expected to be under 200,000 and it delivers 198,000. We remain under that psychological 200,000. Uh, so far, 191 in the rearview mirror is unrevised. And we haven't been over 200,000 since the very first week in March. And prior to that, you have to go back all the way to the end of beginning of the year and end of December. The point here is, is that the longer they stay lower, most likely the more aggressive the Fed would be, although we have the asterisk of banking issues. Continuing claims, 1,689,000. They remain under that important 1.7 million psychologically. That's actually what we were expecting. And in the rearview mirror, we revised last week lower. 1.694 becomes 1.685. All right, our third and final look at fourth quarter GDP. And there is a revision, somewhat unusual, but it is small, from 2.7 to 2.6. And if we look at consumption, 1%, that's a big ding. Uh, we were at 1.4 in the rearview mirror. Consumption, well, 1% actually is the lowest, going back to negative numbers that we had in June of 2020. Uh, if we look at the pricing index, and remember, the high watermark here was June of 1981, uh, June uh, of 22 at 9%, which goes back to 1981, and it's 3.9% remains as it was, has no revisions, and if we look at the core uh, PCE quarter over quarter, 4.4, not good. This actually ticked one-tenth higher than the rearview mirror, then our second look, which was 4.3, and 4.4 actually is the highest level, going back to the third quarter when it was 4.7. Now, we probably shall, will see a little bit of a spike up in interest rates, maybe just a smidge because of that, but in the grand scheme of things, it really is an old number, and of course, we know in about one month, we're going to get our first look at first quarter GDP, with the knowledge that at some point down the road, maybe one, two, three quarters, we may have a recession given some of the data we've seen and, of course, what's going on with regard to manufacturing and services and potentially lower inflation. But at this point, even with the inverted yield curves changing due to the volatility and short maturity treasuries, much of the data still on the surface looks pretty good. Joe, back to you.